What's going on you guys? Today we are taking a look at the Super Combined Trans Truck Engineering Super Trans. This is the first in a five part video review series that we are going to be taking a look at some more knockoffs. You guys seem to like the Chinese market knockoffs so much that I went ahead and got, the hair, got a hold of these guys off of eBay. Or was it Robot Kingdom? I actually No, I think it was actually Robot Kingdom is where I got these. So today we are going to be taking a look at the front end loader. And as you can see from the picture, he is going to form the right arm of the Supergiant Trans Truck Robot. So here is the back of the box, or packaging. Nothing really great. Uh, there is some die cast metal in here, so let's open them up and take a look. Out of the box, this guy is a little bit bigger than a standard deluxe transformer. He is actually nicely detailed for a Chinese knockoff, and is quietly, or quite a bit of die-cast metal on this guy. And by quite a bit, I mean the cab section and the back engine section here. All the rest is plastic. He does not have any articulation here in the middle, where an articulated front-end loader, like we have here, should have. Doesn't have it, unfortunately. It is actually a very nicely detailed figure, though. I think this guy's name is Hero, maybe? I, I don't know, or OS? Not totally sure. He does have some articulation in this form. His bucket can move up and down. It doesn't go all the way down, though. Well, it kind of does, but there should be another set of hydraulics here, but there isn't, so oh well. But overall, I have to admit, this is a pretty good front-end loader. Transformation for this guy is actually pretty complex, surprisingly. To start off with, we're going to take the bucket and fold it straight up. Then take the front wheels and fold them down to a 45 degree angle away from the body. And then we can take the buckets and split them open. And then split the entire front engine section open as well. Like that, just kind of leaving it like this. Then take these engine compartments and fold them up so that we could take the buckets and turn them around facing towards the back of the vehicle. Then we will take the entire front section and disconnect it from the bottom of the vehicle mode and fold it up and have it snap into place in the, in the front here. But before we do that, we kind of want to bring the whole front, or I'm sorry, drop the back down a little bit and drop the rear windscreen down so we can flip the head up. And then we can bring the front of the vehicle up and just get everything into place. Unfortunately, things don't peg into place. The uh, vehicle mode is definitely preferred here, but it's not too bad. Then take the legs, split them open, and fold down the feet. And that is it. I've got to admit, this isn't that bad. I've seen USA-produced Transformers that are worse than this. Yeah, he does have some issues. His head is a little bit floppy, arms don't peg in, and he's a little back heavy. But that can describe a whole lot of USA produced transformers. He doesn't have any you no know, he doesn't have any real hands, unfortunately, and his posability is limited. So you do have some in and out movement in the arms, some rotation in the arms, actual ratchet joints in the legs. No really, no real knees to speak of. I mean, it looks like he should have knees, but he really doesn't. And then there's some articulation in the feet. So he can do like the most awesome sh um, shovel-based power pose ever, but that's about it. So you're not going to get much in the way of articulation. But he doesn't look bad at all, actually. I do find his head mode to be very... Um... <laughs> I do find his head to be a little bit odd. It reminds me more of a Cyberman from Doctor Who than anything else. It's not bad, but it's not really good either. But I do appreciate the fact that it has more paint apps than a Hasbro Transformer would, which is weird. Overall, this guy is not that bad. He's not great, but you know, for what, like the four bucks I paid for him? He's actually really pretty good, especially for a Chinese knockoff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. This is one of six that we're going to be looking at. Uh, next up is going to be the dump truck. 
And um, unfortunately, I don't know what the official name of these guys are. So if you know, let me, or if you can tell me what their translated name is, uh, let me know, because I'd love to know. Guys, I've been Spade of the Bolt Matrix, and I'll catch you next time.